Weren't these supposed to be 08s and you stuffed up? Shut up. Sorry. Welcome to the Hoy the Montre Epic number one tasting TMO Abril April 06. Abril. Abril. That's the Spanish word for April. Yes, sí. claro. Okay. Um, I wanted to taste these cigars specifically because I personally think that 06 was one of the great comeback years of Cuban cigars. You are saying that because you meant to bring 08s and forgot. You weren't exactly saying that right. off air. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. So uh, let's go back and let's look at how good 06s were and whether they stand up to 08s. We've are had a great 08 uh, Corona Gorilla. Are they supposed to be oval? Yours is. Yeah, that's perfect, King. Right, okay. okay, Aroma Cold. Beautiful, beautiful construction, gorgeous wrapper there. Won't describe its colour because I get bagged. Oh, this is very much Colorado Maduro. Hints of light dusting of cocoa. Light dusting of cocoa. Mm. When's the last time you guys have had a Hoya the Montre Pecuna wine? Looks like it's going to unravel that. Ages it's, ago. It's, look, I've Anyone really knows. gone off the uh, HDM range. What's your draw like? Mine's perfect. Yeah, beautiful. It's I was told not to touch it. Perfect draw. Nice resistance. Initial thoughts. I just want to get the body. Spice. Body and spice are what I really look for in that opening. Not much spice. Just below medium on the body. Yeah, I think I feel the age uh, different between this and the 08. Definitely. Yeah, it's smoother. a bit more, yeah, smoother and subtle. I get some spice with the nose. Yeah, toasted. Bread or bread? Bread. Bread. It's got some Hoyer there, hasn't it? It really is Hoyer though. I mean... What character is it? Leathery, leathery character. Leather. Yeah, no leather. You know the old, um, the old style footballs? You, uh, when you were a kid you had a leather football and... and... Never sucked on one. No, I didn't actually uh... suck on one, but it had an aroma. <laughs> oh, I'm liking this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back to the end of the first day. I apologise now. <laughs> First third of the Hoy the Montre Abril. I was six. Kenny Gargan. Um, thoroughly loving it. No, it's, uh, it's, it's, you get that real creaminess coming through. Sort of a bit of a leathery character. Um, a couple of years of knocked off the edges. Body? Um, Medium-ish. Yeah, it's got the best characteristics of Hoy the Montre, oh, does it? It's, it's it's this is Hoy the Montre. Mm. Yeah, it has. It's I just... haven't had Epi one as good as this for, for, for ages. James? Uh, Show him up. <laughs> Well, it's been very good, very smooth, and uh, yeah, just very good. You haven't had one of these before, have you? No, this is, I, this, if they're all like this, I'll uh, buy many boxes. Do you have a lot of Hoya the Montre? Do you smoke a lot of Hoya the Montre? Not really. I've only had a couple of boxes of number two, the Robusto. It's been very different than number two. Do you agree, Sven? I mean, this has been very, I've had very two good. for a while, but I had a, had a Petit Robusto the other day. The, again, it was very enjoyable. Um, but the, the smoothness with this... As Ken said, all the, the rough edges have been knocked off. Um, I, I felt just a touch of that woody cedar characteristic was there. Uh, beautiful cigar all around, actually. Mm -hmm. oh, very enjoying it. I, mean, I just want to do some Corona Gorda comparisons, but I'm stunned about how good the cigar is. Right now, I'd rate this up well over the 90. Yeah, yeah, it's better than uh, H. Upman at the moment. I know. Yeah, yeah. This is, um, mm -hmm. I know it's a little bit older, it's got a few more legs on it, but this yeah. is... You'd be happy to smoke these on a regular basis. Mm. Um, fantastic. Mm. How long do you... Uh, I'm just thinking about its lay-down potential. Two I'm, years. Yeah, I'm I'm not thinking it's got the legs. I don't want it to lose the body. Yeah, I don't think it's got the legs yeah. that the H up and had. This is one of the best cigars I've had this year. Lovely cigar. Oh, it's not one of the great cigars. I mean, let's put this in perspective. It's not one of the great. I mean, we've it's had a good two great cigars. Cigar. Yeah. One of the great cigars we've had this year. Yeah. What are they? The H. Upman Sir Winston, the uh, Key Robusto we had out here on the deck, the uh, Grand Reserva was spectacular. The Grand Reserva sets the benchmark. Yeah. The Monty Open, you had Monty Open. Yeah. Ken. Monty Open. Uh, but but Spinny, you, and, you yeah. and I have had some great cigars. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that was spectacular. Look, the, Winston, the Winston and the, and the Caro were the two that. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. rocked your boat. Yeah. yeah. Roger yes, Bay, both the way it's Roger Bay. Yeah. This is up there. But still with that, perhaps, lacking just a touch of class. Yeah, uh, the class is there. I, I'm, I'm feeling it's just gotten a little heavier, which on my last comment before about looking at the legs and the length this thing might have left in it. It's, it's got, got more than I expected. Yeah, all yeah, of a sudden now, it's, starting to it's gotten a bit, bit more, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. gotten a bit heavier and it's gone, hey, I've got the balls keep on going. It's so. a five, seven years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. it is. It's, it's, um... Starting to refine and now it's starting to get yeah. a bit angry again, which is good. Yeah, I love a bit of mongrel. Definitely looks thicker smoke, stronger 
taste, I think. Yeah, isn't it? It's building, yeah. it's building, yeah. it's, yeah. Building, yeah. it's yeah. building, it's saying, hey, don't classify me yeah. Yeah. Don't be, as, as yeah. being uh, ready to go now. So it's a talking angry cigar. It's looking a terrific cigar. Uh, we've had those sort of lovely creamy coffee fibres. Uh, now we're just getting perhaps a little bit more woody, uh, but it's still got those earlier flavours that are there, just building on them. It's Hoya the Montre. Forget the label, but if you smoked this, yeah. you'd see it. You know yeah, it. I mean, you yeah, know if you not. if you took the label off this, you'd know it's Hoya the Montre. Mm. It's it's just a, a classic Hoya the Montre cigar. Last third of the Hoya the Montre, picking number one, Abrillo Six. Kenny, finish it off. Um, pretty much as it was the last time. It's it's got that deeper, darker flavours. Mm. Um, a richness, sort of almost a fruitcake character, a little bit. Um, but so something on, has changed from it, the time. Uh, throughout. It's, it's evolving and complexity? changing. Complexity, yeah, it's got complexity. Uh, it's showing that right, going from that sort of almost that lighter, creamier yeah. characters, moving through into the richer body. Uh, I'd still put it just just over medium for me. Okay, spice with the nuts. Any? I think that's that's more sort of evaporated from the earlier stage yeah. into the, okay. the, the deeper flavours. 91, 92. That right. Oh, thanks. It's very kind. James. Uh, uh, very good. Flavors smooth and, uh, yeah, definitely rated 92. Smitty. Uh, like Gaga said, it's gone, you know, it's continued down that darker path. I, I felt it's gotten a bit heavier, uh, moving well into medium full. I didn't expect that, did you? It's lost a couple of marks for me. I was going to say around 92, but I'll pull it back to, uh, you know, I'm going to be a bit harsh, 89, 90. Um, so you preferred the uh, 46 ahead of this? Look, the, the 46 over the length of the cigar, I think, was better. This one over the first two thirds was better, but this back third... Only done two thirds. It's sure. just gotten a bit dark and a bit heavy, but like I was saying, it's got good... Uh, you know, great for a couple of years down the track as well. So uh, still a very good cigar. I've enjoyed it. this more. Than, I mean, I enjoyed them both, but but I'd uh, I've enjoyed this one. I will give this a 91, 92. Um, it certainly has a little bit more complexity than the forty six. Mm. This, this, hang on one second. It's got two more years. Yeah. Oh, on on yeah. on the, the, the forty six, mm. it has both complexity and balance. One of the best HDMs I've had. Yeah. Yeah. It is. This has been a, a classic HDM Q mm. number one. Where would you, which would you pick as a long-term major? You seen it's gotten a bit dark on the back end. This actually, and it's two years old now. The other one, I, I, I'm thinking this one actually. I was, I was a bit concerned. Bigger the other two. If I was going to age one or the other, I'd probably age this one. I think it's pretty light and ball. Maybe the 46, but both excellent cigars. To smoke now, these. However, having said that, the upper magnum 46s of this year have been generally fantastic. You can't go wrong. No. Uh, this is nothing like listening to, you know, downtown when you're having a cigar. Downtown! Do you want to mix the words? <laughs> downtown! That's about all I know. When you were a kid, you had a leather football and, and... Never sucked on one. No, I didn't uh... actually suck on one, but it had an aroma. <laughs> uh, uh, given the, proclivity, just given the proclivities it. of your family... It's just painful. There are days. Every week. You just Not every week. Has he got worms? Honestly. We'll be back at the end of the <laughs> second third. What the fuck's he doing? Honestly. A thick um, long stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would these reviews be like if you, you were not allowed near four bottles of wine? <laughs> Boring. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Continue on. Am I necessary for this particular moment? Be back in tea. Kieran, seriously, you're necessary for any of it. I've said for weeks we need a better venue. We need to get rid of it. That's the problem. The venue's okay. It's, you know, rocking chair boy. Seriously, there. we would get more intelligent commentary than Adam, probably a pop Right there. Right. Ken, what do you reckon? Yeah. Ken? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ken? 